What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to graph absolute value functions and show you how to find the domain and range, right? So the first thing I wanna show you here is the vertex form of an absolute value function. All right, if you understand this first example, I think you're gonna be able to understand basically any example. Okay, now I know this looks complicated, but there's literally only two things you need to know from this function. So first of all, this number in the very front tells you the slope of your graph and then H and K over here give you the vertex of your graph. So then um, H and K, the vertex would be at basically H comma K. So the H is basically your X and the K is your Y, okay? Those are literally the only two things you need to know in order to graph an absolute value function, all right? So let's start with the more complicated one and then we're gonna do some easier ones so you see how they all actually do tie in together. So here we have f of x is equal to three times in the absolute value bars, x plus two, and then a plus four on the outside, okay? So again, the first thing you wanna do is find your vertex, and that comes from your h and your k, right? This is your x and this is your y. The only difference is for your x term, you basically take the opposite sign. So here we have a positive two, right? So for your x coordinate, it's actually gonna be a negative two. And then for your y, this still just stays the same. So this is positive four, so then, uh, your y stays as positive four. So the vertex for this absolute value function is at negative two comma four, right? So then we'll go negative two uh, comma four, right there. Okay, so this is negative two comma four, right there. And then the other thing is your slope, all right? So this number out here in front gives you the slope of your graph because an absolute value function basically is shaped like a V, okay? Or it is shaped like a V. So in this case, it's telling us that the slope is three. Okay, so starting at the vertex, if we know our slope is three, we're gonna go up one, two, three, and then over one. So then there's your other point. All you do is draw a straight line. Okay, but remember I told you that the absolute value functions are V-shaped, so we need this side also. So again, we're gonna go up one, two, three, but then we're gonna go over one to this side, right? So then we know our other point is right there. And then you just draw a straight line, just like that, okay? So then the slope of this line over here Right, the slope is equal to three, and then the slope of this line is basically equal to negative three. Okay, and that's literally all there is to it. Now we just need to find the domain and the range. So the domain is our x value limits, right, side to side, and then the range goes up and down, our y value limits. So for the domain, you can see that uh, the graph is gonna go forever, basically, uh, in that direction towards negative infinity, and in that direction towards positive infinity, so the domain is all real numbers, and that's the symbol for all real numbers. And then the range, our limits for the range, are basically from positive four to positive infinity, right? Because the graph just goes up. So then here we could say that uh, the range is y is greater than or equal to positive four. Okay, so hopefully not too bad. Let's just try a few more. Okay, so here's basically the same equation. The only thing I did is change the slope from positive three to negative three, okay? But in any case, let's just use the two things we need, right? So all we need is the vertex. So we know the vertex is at these two numbers right here. And you just wanna take the opposite sign, right? So it's at negative two comma four. And then in this case, the slope is equal to negative three, right? So again, the vertex is at negative two comma four. And then now the slope is negative three, right? So this time we're gonna go down one, two, three, and then over one. Okay, so our slope right here is at negative two, four, and then we went down at a slope of negative three, like that, right? And then we're gonna do the same thing in the other direction, so we have our V shape. So we went down three over one, so we're gonna go down three and over one in this direction this time, right? So then we'll draw our line right there, okay? So then there's our absolute value function. And then again, the domain and the range, the domain's basically always gonna be the same thing, here it's gonna be all real numbers, and then the range this time goes from positive four down towards negative infinity, right? So we're gonna say that our y values are less than or smaller than or equal to positive four. Okay, so here we have f of x is equal to the absolute value of x minus three. Okay, so a couple of things you might notice right off the bat is we're missing basically our number, our a term right here, right in front, right? And whenever you don't see a number right there, that means there's basically a, an invisible coefficient of positive one, 
okay? So in this case, you can basically just plug in a one right there for A, just if that helps for, for the slope purposes. And then here, uh, you can see we don't have a plus number at the end, right? We don't have our plus K. So you can imagine this as putting plus zero, okay? Same exact thing. So if you want to fill in the blanks that way, just to make it a little bit easier, I highly recommend that. Okay, because now it's going to be a little easier to pick out what we need. So again, for the vertex, it's these two numbers, right? This one and this one. So just take the opposite sign. So here we have a minus three. So that means for our vertex, it's going to be at positive three. And then here we just have a zero. So it's a zero. Okay. And then in this case, we're going to have a slope of just positive one. Okay. So again, the vertex is at three zero. So three zeros right there. And then just a slope of one, right? So basically up one over one, up one over one, up one, right? So we'll just put one right there and draw straight line like that. And then to complete our V, we'll go in the opposite direction, right? So we'll go up one over one like that and complete our V like that. Boom, all right? So then the domain and range again. God, these are fun. So the domain is gonna be all real numbers. And for our range, our Y limit right here is at zero. And then it goes to positive infinity, right? So here Y is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so here we have f of x is equal to the square, square root, <laughs> the absolute value of x plus four, okay? So again, you can see we don't have a number right here. Uh, there's no a, so again, you can take that to be a positive one. And we don't have another number inside the absolute value bars with the x, right? So really, you can think of this as, uh, let's just write it out, f of x is equal to one times the absolute value of x plus zero, right? Since we don't have an actual number in here, just uh, replace it with zero because it's the exact same thing. And then we have this plus four at the end, okay? So then for your vertex, it's gonna be at, well, zero is not positive or negative, right? It's just zero. So the vertex is gonna be at zero comma four. And then the slope again is one, okay? So zero, four is right there, there's the vertex. And then the slope is just uh, up one over one, right? So right there. Draw a straight line, and then same thing in the other direction, up one over one right there, straight line, boom. Okay, so there's your graph, and then the domain and range. So the domain, again, is all real numbers, and then the range goes from uh, positive four all the way to positive infinity, right? So we're gonna say y is greater than or equal to positive four. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.